Hey guys, Xbox here, and this is just going to be a quick, you know, product review on the, uh, let's show it here, this three racing uh, motor heat sink, and it comes with the fan. Um, you know, as many of you guys know, I was, you know, I was running this uh, B44 here, and I was using not really an older, but, you know, I mean, the Super Sport SS, the Novak brushless, I think it's like the, uh, let's turn it around here, see if we can get it, this is like the uh, SS5800 or something like that, but anyway, I was running it and, and it would always overheat. The ESC would get super hot and you know I tried doing a few a few things and I mean I wasn't running it in super hot weather and I figured out that I'll go back here. My workbench, you guys, is a mess. Uh, I found out that I really wasn't getting a lot of good airflow. I know this isn't down all the way, but when it's down, I was really getting no airflow to the ESC. So I tried putting like a different heat sink on it. I tried putting um not this one, but I tried to put a heat sink on top of it like this to get a little more cooling, but it made the body, of course, fit all funny. So I decided to go out and try to look for a particular, um, just a fan or a fan with ESC. So uh, my local hobby shop had this three racing. Of course, it comes with the actual heat sink itself. And then, of course, the fan, you know, was on top of it. And you can see that fan is a real nice fan. So I went ahead and I was able to get two of these little screws down into the uh, the groove here on the fins. But I wasn't and I wasn't 100% sure it was going to stay on there, so I just threw a twisty tie on there to make sure it's on there. Comes with a nice plastic guard on top to make sure a bunch of junk doesn't get in there. But I mean, really nice. Again, comes with, you know, the nice, uh, the heat sink, came with all the, the, the corrective cables and everything. Even came with like a, uh, where is it, uh, I think right here, came with an extension cable. So you could put it in with the uh, leads on the end, depending on where you guys want to do it. But this is how I fixed my problem. I went out and ran it today. Absolutely no problems when I put this, uh, when I put this fan on top of this sort of older ESC, but it still runs great. But I also grabbed this too here. Uh, much more racing. This is like a, supposed to be a high RPM cooling fan. I didn't want to run this just because, I don't know, I had that, I had bought that one and this one was only, believe it or not, $7.99. Heat sink and the fan. That's amazing. And I went, like I said, to my local hobby shop to get it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that, man, this thing works great. No overheating issues, runs cool, runs smooth, hooked right into the uh, air tonic servo I got right there. But I'd recommend it. I mean, for eight bucks, guys, geez, you, you can't go wrong for the heat sink and the fan. And it's a quality fan. It's not a, you know, it's not a junky one. It's pretty nice. So yeah, just wanted to throw this out there and say, I'd pick it up if I were you guys, or if you might have the sort of the same ESC and we're having uh, overheating issues due to the body being, you know, sort of in the way and really no flow getting to it. So just a quick update. Thanks again for watching, guys.